video we will see how the 3D molecules uh, that are generated would be uh, formed using the ChemSpider website. So we are into this Chem web, uh, ChemSpider website, this is a link for it. Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to get benzene out of calcium oxide. So what are the steps? So the first thing is that we have to find that 3D compound calcium oxide then we pass it over like uh, on a, a very heated temperature and it forms calcium carbide and after that uh, we pass in water it goes to acetylene and after the acetylene is formed finally if you uh, pass on red hot tube to benzene so the compounds look a bit uh, different but if you want to find out that if the this uh, compounds exist over there here at the repository or not we'll just type see it now i will just type in calcium oxide calcium oxide so we see that the compound is we have got the compound now if we click on the 3d model here It generates a 3d model for us so we can use it in our project directly the one thing that we need to do is we cannot directly use it in unity first we need to uh, take it to another tool probably in the next week we are uh, working with blender we'll see how it works and from blender we'll take it to unity so calcium oxide is found now our next option is we are trying to form calcium carbide that is csc2 if I just type in calcium carbide and search for it, let us see if we get it or not. How powerful this uh, this particular website is, and it downloads those 3D models too. If you now click on the 3D models, you see that the model is already there. Some tweaks need to be made. Uh, we will use it in Blender and then convert it into Unity uh, options. Now after the calcium carbide is found, we have we need acetylene. Let us see that acetylene is there or not. We'll just type in acetylene. Yes, uh, this compound is also there. If we just click on the 3D option, the acetylene compound is formed. And finally, from this uh, we have benzene so we will need to see that, that benzene is there on so if you type in benzene so we see that this compound benzene is also there if we click on 3d model it will just show us the details you can also play with it also if you want to enhance it and see we can definitely do that so this is the structure 2d cell so it's a 2d now it gets converted into 3d structure we can play along with it click on the cell and the cell structure we can uh, save it in two of them options like jmol or jsmol and over here you see there is this save button you can save the model directly if we just click on save it will allow us to save it then we can use it in any other tool like blender and we can work with the project so for our starting purpose we were supposed to check that this particular website gives us 3d models or not we were able to find out so all of them models are available we can we have to find out a pipeline that uses this model to a tool that's been converted into blender and finally we use it to unity so we see that this uh, this model that is being saved it is in uh, star in dot mall extension but now we have to find out a way where we can take it to blender and then we will use it in unity Thank you for watching. This was all about the video about this week. Until we meet again.